is boiling. Uh, I do like to compost the veg and the fruits that I use for, for eating. <laughs> and so this is my compost pot. I already have some paper and uh, orange peels and banana peels. So I'm sorry if you hear a little bit of the noise. There's always construction happening in Metro Manila, actually anywhere you go. So there, I'm just gonna put the seeds into my compost pot. So how I do things is um, I make sure if I can, nothing goes to waste and everything has its use. To live a more to live a more sustainable lifestyle. Mm. Mm. It's very very sweet. I was just saying the other day that if you train your taste buds to not be used to rich food like um, all the dressings or salty or sweet stuff you really will appreciate um, the flavors of your vegetables just as they are so right now I'm getting like really sweet um, flavors from the capsicum or the bell pepper and it's really really delicious so you might think like what the heck I'm not um, using any dressing or or like cheeses or stuff but when you really eat vegetables without all of those uh, preserved um, dressings and sauces is really, really good. Mm. It's good munching away in these. They're like your snacks. So yeah, it took a while for me to get used to at first if you eat vegetables on their own and you've been so used to eating rich foods. It's like, ew, but really it does take time. and. Trust me, it's gonna be so worth it. You won't have to look for all of those salty stuff or sweet stuff to, to make up for the flavors of this. And you have less water retention. So your body will be a little bit on the slimmer side. I'm not saying I'm slim because I love my pastas. I love my cheeses still, but if you can um, avoid high sodium uh, food, that's even better. So this is such a good snacking uh, thing to do. Mm, mm, mm. salt into the water of their boiling pasta but for me I'm trying to stay away from water retention and it tastes equally delicious for me personally that's just my opinion I'm not an expert at cooking but I'm pretty equally satisfied to just have the pasta boiling with plain water and then um, I get the flavor and the salt from the pesto and the cheese so there so today we are actually going to do a food review of this brand called Filippo Berio and the price is actually still there. It's 100, well, 137.95 but I would say 140 pesos and if you recall the pesto that I've made uh, the other day, I bought an entire huge bag of basil and that was 120 pesos which lasted me for 5 days. And I would say in comparison to this, which is um, more expensive, if you do have the time to make your own pesto sauce, go for it. Because it really is so affordable for 120 pesos and then you just add calamansi, garlic, and seasoning. And it lasts you for five days, my goodness. You'll be eating like 20, less than 20 pesos a day, but also healthy because basil has a lot of vitamin C. But that's not the topic right now. We are gonna try this out. It actually looks delicious. And this is one of the more affordable brands that you would find in the supermarket. So I believe they also have other products like olive oil and um, tomato sauces. So, so let's add this to our pasta today. Now for me, when it comes to enjoying my pasta, I'm very OC about making sure that the, the pasta is al dente. So right when it's about to be cooked, 
Mm. I take it off already because it's already cooking. So this is actually good to go. Oh, and by the way, I have to say that this is not a uh, sponsored ad. I'm not getting paid to review this. This is just um, something that was given to us and the price is still there. But um, I thought about making a review and seeing how it tastes it's, since it's one of the more affordable pestos in the market. So not sponsored, but I'm welcoming any um, sponsors for food reviews. But I do have to say I'm quite honest about my personal preference. Again, food is very subjective. It smells really good. Obviously, this is bottled, so this is not going to have the same texture as my homemade pesto. But this is how it looks. So let's mix it up. It's smelling promising already. Of course, when you make it fresh, you can really smell the basil and the freshness. This one smells very savory and it's not having the same uh, freshness obviously because it's bottled, but that's okay. What's important is the flavor. And let's give this a try. I think I might just add a little bit more. First, let's try it um, without the pasta. Mmm, wow, ooh! It really is an explosion in your mouth. Wow, it's very flavorful. So the ingredients, Italian basil, olive oil, sunflower oil. It's got uh, padana cheese, cashew nuts. It's got sugar, pecorino. Um, it's got garlic, so it's really, really flavorful. <laughs> it's so good, actually. Wow, this would be so good with like polluta and I can taste olives as well. It tastes like basil, but there's like an olive uh, flavor to it. I'm getting more of olives actually instead of basil. Mm. Definitely I'm tasting olives, but it is so good. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now for the taste, the actual pasta taste. Of course, I made sure my pasta is al dente. Because that's the only way to eat your pasta. Just make sure it's not overcooked. Mmm, oh my god. Mm, mm. Wow. I can't even talk. It's really good. Wow, it really is a burst of flavor in your mouth and you don't even have to add cheese anymore. <laughs> of course you can add cheese if you want, but this is already shockingly flavorful. I could be exaggerating just because I've trained my taste buds to eat uh, vegetables on their own with no dressing. Like I love the flavor of cucumber. It's very refreshing and sweet. I love the taste of uh, bell pepper like you saw me eating a while ago. So because my, my taste buds have adjusted to, wouldn't call them bland, but yeah, have adjusted to non-savory stuff, for me this is like, boom, really an explosion in your mouth. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yummy. Let's eat guys, I wish I can share with you. 